From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Embrace the chill winds of the motherland, Tsar Peter. Your fascination with science and culture is a gift, and you will learn much from your grand embassies to foreign lands. Under your rule, Russia will surely flourish and spread, absorbing all that lies around it, perhaps creating the greatest land empire seen on this earth. Yo guys, Mikey Avelli here, playing Civilization VI on Deity. I am Russia, um, as you can see. Um, they receive science and culture from trade routes to civilizations that are more advanced than Russia, which can be very useful on Deity as civilizations already start with uh, technologies from the beginning. So if I get trade routes up early, I'll be getting that boosted science and culture just from then. I don't think I'll focus around trade routes because I'm sure there'll be other ways of making science and culture much easier. But it's an added bonus. If we can get people trading with us, that's great. Uh, Mother Russia, extra territory upon founding cities, plus one faith and plus one production from Tundra. So Tundra tiles are not totally useless like they usually are. We get a Cossack, a unique land unit. I've never used it. I'm not sure what it does, but we'll find out. A Lavra is a unique holy site, which I'm not sure what the difference is, but we shall see. So let's get into it. This is a Pangaea map, small, so there are six sieves. Um, so yeah, uh, I have already had a quick glance around towards the west here, as there is something quite good, and I am going to just explore with my warrior right now. Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. So Yosemite Valley, we get that boost in astrology. So. Yosemite Valley gives us science for every adjacent tile to the natural wonder. It is a two-tile wonder, which means there are even more tiles that we don't see. I'm going to turn on the healed icons as I much prefer having them on. It helps me take in more information from the beginning. And I'm going to settle the city here as I have tried moving onto a hill before and it doesn't give you extra production like it used to on Civ 5. Um, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, I've never played Russia before. This is the first. Um, I did put it on random. So, playing Russia, it'll be interesting. Uh, hopefully, this will be quite a good game. I can see that we're going to grow in two turns, which is extremely quickly, because we've got five food from two tiles here. Two tiles have give, are giving us five food, and then we've got two more that are giving us four. We're going to grow extremely quickly. So I'm going to get out a scout straight away. That's five turns for a scout. Yeah. And that's all we need to do. First turn. Which is good enough. I don't think I locked tiles, though, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to lock it there, and I'm going to put it on food and production focus. Um... I don't, know, I don't know whether it's worth putting it on just production so it'll go on to one of these. I'm not sure how it works on this one, so I'm not going to do that. Um, not until I figure that out. As I am on Deity, I might as well just play to the best of my ability. I will be taking risks wherever I need to, though. Where, or wherever, wherever I think I can get an advantage. Uh, so... One turn till... Wow, we've already grown as well. This is turn four, and we're population three. Um, I'm going to go up north, just to have a glance around here. Should get... Yeah. Oh, so the silk over here. Oh, up north. Uh, we've also got two wheat tiles and a fish. Yeah, this is looking pretty decent. It's not the best. But if we can settle on one of these science tiles, we get that in our city permanently, which is a nice bonus. No 
man ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. So we've got pottery now. Um, I would like to put some turns into irrigation. About three, get halfway, and then switch out. Um, because we do not have a builder yet. Getting that builder would be nice. So unit needs orders. We're going to send them west. So we've met Cleopatra of Egypt. Um, that is not too scary as I don't believe she's very warmongery. Um, it could be worse. It could be Scythia, Tamiris. That's definitely something we don't want to find. Not close to us. If we if we head out to the west, no, the east, um, and we find them, we might as well just quit. <laughs> so that warrior has just run away. Probably thinking, I'm going to kick his head in, because I am. Right. Okay. So, there is a settler just chilling. That'll be quite interesting. If they leave it unguarded, I think that'll be an opportunity. Alright, I'm going to send this scout over to this hill over here. Because moving over a river out of a city does not cost the whole amount of movement points as it normally does. And it just costs the amount to move into the actual tile instead of adding the river to it. Which is quite good. Um, so now, what do we need to build? We need a granary. Pretty quickly. But, I'm thinking of... I want a builder. I do need a builder. So then I can get irrigation done. Uh, so in... Wait, it's still saying six turns. Well, we'll, we'll keep going with that. We'll see. Enacting new policies in our government. That is best. Okay, so Cleo's left uh, Mr. Settler without any protection. Let's choose our civics. I'm going to put some turns into foreign trade and fill policy slot. So double experience for recon units, plus one production in all cities. The reason I'm not going for plus one faith and plus one gold is because plus one faith is neglectable, and so is plus one gold. We can get faith in other ways, and right now, I think it takes us six turns to get a Pantheon. No, 12. If we had plus two faith, that would be six turns. Even so, I'm sure we'll get faith another way. Are you sure you want... No. So I'm going to go with the plus one production, as I want to get quite a few things built in my city quickly. So now, I am going to, I'm going to declare war on Egypt, because I want that settler. Oh. Let me move this. Let me move you. Okay, I didn't actually click on the city. So, declare surprise war. Okay, let, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, ha! Osiris will be pleased to welcome my enemies. Okay, right. So, she's not happy. I mean, why would you be? I've just declared war on you and stolen your settler. Uh, so he can only attack over the river. And he can't get over the river until next turn. So them two warriors are not really a threat. I can take a bit of damage this turn, which isn't isn't bad. The city can't attack like it could on Civ. Civ 5 until it gets walls. I'm going to send this settler right back. It's telling me to settle up here. But I want that science from the start, I think. Oh. I think I think that's the best idea to just go for the science, early science. For me that's uh, for me that sounds like a good idea. Let me know in the comments if you think it's a bad idea. I don't know. You might have seen a better settling spot. Wait, what was that? 
goody hut. Okay. That's our first goody hut, which is quite le late to be getting the first one, I think. Oh, no. Turn nine. It's acceptable. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need him. We don't need him. We don't need him. So, we'll get the builder next turn. Oh, I've already waited a turn of irrigation, but that's not the worst. Mining. Next, I think. Just not really for any reason. I'm waiting to get irrigation. I think we're, uh, we'll be earning signs quite quickly anyway. So right now, it doesn't really matter too much. We're just going to get mining out. We need to get them type of techs done quite quickly, I think. As it gives us a lot more choices. Hmm. So it wants us to settle down here now. But I think either... The one, the tile just above it, the one it's on, actually, no, the one it's on now, or the one to the right of it. The problem is, I don't know if I'll be able to get the wheat straight away. So I'm going to move this warrior back. Now I've got this builder out. I'm going to go build a farm. Send this scout up north. And choose production. So now I've got this decision again. We have got one out of the way. So, we can build a granary, which will give us a lot more to grow with. And we'll be improving our amenities by at least at least one. So, it'll be at least zero. Um, then, we can, build, we can build housing with a granary. Or we can build a settler. But I think I'll wait for a settler. I want a slinger, though. I want a slinger so I can send it down south just to check for barbarians. And if barbarians come, deal with them. How greedy do I want to be? Because that'd be very greedy if I go for a, if I don't go for a slinger. Because I'll already have my. Uh, I don't know. It's turn ten. I'll be done by turn sixteen. Unless I get growth. Well, I need to grow. I'm gonna go for a granary and be greedy. If I get enough cash, wait. Do I have enough cash to buy a slinger? Um, that's the wrong button. Slinger is sixty-five gold. Okay, so if I need to, I can buy a slinger, which I'm, I think I'm gonna do. I didn't. I actually didn't check how much granary was. Oh well, the granary is 130. Yeah, I might as well just buy the slinger. I'm. I'm not liking this auto cycle. Um. Okay. Should I settle here? I could move up north like it told me to. But I want this science from the start. But I think two science would be more handy. Then I could could buy one of these wheat tiles, but then I won't be able to buy a slinger. Dilemma. Okay. But two science instead of one. But then more growth as well. Okay. I'm going to settle where I am. So I can make sure I get the wheat tiles out. And it's closer to Egypt, which will annoy them even more. <laughs> That's one, two, three. One, two. Yeah, she can't settle there now. <laughs> Wait, she couldn't settle there anyway. She'd have to settle on the wheat. And yeah, she wouldn't have been able to do that anyway. Never mind. Uh, make this farm. If I make another farm, that would give me one more house. The man who has grit enough to... But I'm not going to have enough amenities. That's another problem. We're going to need enough builder soon. I'm going to get... The Pantanal is the most oh. complex intertropical alluvial plain of the planet. And perhaps the least known area of the world. That could be game-changing. Early culture... Whoa! Great work. Splinter of the True Cross. Um, okay. Okay. So, getting tourism. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. You great works. I don't... <gasps> and Faith! Oh, that was a great turn. <coughs> so, we've got... I thought... Oh, oh, I was happy with one natural wonder, but we've got two. Two culture, two, two food, two culture. Oh, we've got the science and the culture 
Yes, yes. I've got to say that that is amazing. Uh, where can we go with this? What do we need to build here? I feel like building military troops is a good idea. Let's check what you're on, actually. All right, we'll lock you. Science would be nice, but ooh, foreign trade. We'll switch that out with craftsmanship. And what should we build here? I think I'll go with a... I want to go with a slinger or a warrior. I'm going to go with a slinger as kind of like a more defensive unit. As I'm not going to be... Well, once I get archers, it'll, be, it'll turn more offensive as well as defensive, which is good. But for now, it's just to try and hopefully be able to get the archery boost. And yeah. Let's Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? This is true. Who does deserve more credit? Um, oh, I should have leveled up. Just, actually, it didn't really matter. It's a hill there. Uh. So, we'll go into here whatever way possible and improve this, get our amenities up. Might be a problem. Okay, it'll go to minus two at seven. So we're fine. We're fine for now. I think this will give us, give us plus one gold when we improve it, which isn't bad, but it's not great. I would have preferred production or even food, but we don't need food. So now I've got that. I want to go with astrology so I can start getting Lavras out after I've established myself a little bit. I want a great profit soon. I want it quickly. I think I might try for a religious victory. I might try for it. I've never done one. I'm not sh too sure how it works, so it'll be quite interesting. It will. So the builders are... So that's interesting. Um, he's going to find us anyway. Would you like to visit our nearby city? Let me know if that was a good idea or not. <laughs> we have I really recently don't gained advanced... I don't believe in astrology. Oh. I'm a Sagittarius and we're sceptical. I love that quote. Um, so we're gonna keep heading up here. That um, promotion was clutch, as we can now wander through here pretty easily. Now, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna fortify him here. In kind of like a choke point, which is good. I'm going to improve you. Get that gold, get them monies, get them papers. Um, one more turn into craftsmanship. Then I'll probably switch to the other one. Because we're definitely going to finish with craftsmanship pretty easily. Animal husbandry. One turn, one turn, why not? Why not? Yeah, what can it what can it lead into? Horseback riding and archery. We're going to need archery, so animal husbandry is a good idea. She's Pantheon. Okay. Holy site districts get plus one fit from Tundra. That was what I was intending. Yeah. Plus one immunity from if they have a holy district. Holy site districts get plus one faith from adjacent rainforest. I could also use that over here, but over up north. Plus one great person points. I like that one. If you're building a lot of districts, it's quite it's quite handy. But I think I don't. No, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, tundra tile one. Then we can make more use of our tundra tiles down south. Should be good. Found this pantheon. Okay, we've, we've unlocked a boost for mysticism. Oh, there's the first scout. Maybe we should have built that slinger earlier on. Um, might I might just buy one. 
Let's have a look. Let's have a look. How much is it to buy? 65 gold. Let's see how much it is to build. How how long it takes. Was it that one? So it takes two turns to build a slinger. Or two turns to build a warrior. We should be fine. With, I don't know. I might I might just buy it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just buy it. There are stay. no dogs in heaven. I'm just gonna stay here with this warrior. And just uh, let him attack me. Is that research? No. Yep. Get that research. Let us think. Let us think. Bronze working to discover iron. I think. I think that's a good idea. I, if I can just dis discover iron, I can figure out where I need to settle. That is a good. That is a good thought as well. I think I want to build a settler instead of uh, going straight into the lavera. Because we've got, we've got our pantheon for now. Which is good. But if we build a settler and just um, I don't want to go in the marsh but I guess I might as well. I don't want to wander too far out. Okay. Now I've got a decision. Do I go for production or do I go for food? And that'll give me plus one housing as well. Or do I improve the sugar and get more amenities? Let's have a look. I think I need the amenities more. Not, I'm still not too sure how the mechanic works, but I'm going to go for it. going to go for it. I don't think it can hurt too much. If at all. Now, I'm going to move you up here. I'm just going to keep this guy fortified. And hopefully he'll attack him, not die, and then I can steal the kill. Right, he looks like, he, he looks like he's going back to camp to let them know what's going on. Choose production. Okay. So we've got a couple units here. Not much, but I think we need to start making a move of things. Oh, I haven't locked any tiles for a while. Alright, we'll lock this other tile. Then these science tiles will make more sense after that. Choose production. Okay, I'm going to go into Elavra, I think. So you get plus four from this one, plus five from that one. Faith. They are good, but I think I want to make make some use of uh, desert tiles. I can't build them yet if I do that. I mean, it's only plus one there and plus two there. What do you get plus two from? Woods. Oh. I don't know. Plus five. I mean, I'll lose that tile with the two signs on it. Am I going to use all these? Hmm. I'd like to get more faith. I think I'm gonna. I'll, I'll wait a few turns to build the lavra then, and I'll build. We're not getting much culture. Once we settle that other city, we'll get more culture. Okay, I think I'll build a monument and just start to get that culture rolling. I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone up here yet. That's, what, well, that's another reason we need to get Settler out soon, so we could just forward Settle. Okay. Put you on there, so then if he comes here, we can both attack him. If he goes here... Oh, nothing. <laughs> Orders. Right, we'll, ha we'll happily use you and get that plus one gold. And Without that. craftsmanship, inspiration. I think it's plus one. I mean, it's oh, we're on minus one. So, do I thought unique ones. Okay, so that's proven something. If you have two of the same, two of the same, and you improve them both, it doesn't improve your amenities. 
But I think it's... It does give you a bonus. I know that. I'm not sure. Maybe I can trade it if I find someone I can trade with. Can I just make peace? <laughs> no. Choose civic. Okay. So I've learned something there. Learned something there. I think I still think I can find that second continent. I'm not in any rush to build a trade route because I've not met anyone yet. State workforce, sure. I'm gonna build a district soon anyway. So before I retreat, I'm gonna attack him just to take it, take him down a bit. Oh, we have found Rome. I forgot about that. My offer. No, I want. I need a. I need a resource more than I need money. So I'm going to. Wow. Yes. He's settled quite a few. Um. Confused deal. I should have settled more by now. Harald Sigurðarson stendur fyrir þér. Aldrei var Viking slík landsnjal. Meeting the Vikings. Meeting the Rome. Come on, Norway. Come on, Norway. You got anything to trade? It's an honour to meet you. Um, a bit of a warmonger, though, aren't you? I'll I'll let you know. I'll try and be I'll try and be try and be friendly with you. Um, can I? I can't reach from there. Oh, just fortify, I think. Kill three barbarians. I might as well just continue researching it. So I don't know when I will finish killing three barbarians. Hmm. So yeah, building military would have made more sense, I think. Lesson learned. Then I could then I could have killed three barbarians. Oh my god. That's another interesting thing. <laughs> über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. Pretty sure they're both quite warmongery. Which, actually, is probably quite a good thing because they're both next to each other. He's here. And he's here. They're really close. I've got no one, it seems, close to me. So if I can settle about here, and about here, and, and probably down here, I should have quite a few decent positions, and then maybe, maybe even take take Egypt's capital, as they've got they're going to have no buffer city for that. Which means it's ripe for the taking once I get once I get enough military. Okay, next turn. Oh, oh no. Okay. So, we're going to take one step up here, and we are going to heal, so I might as well. Plus 10 combat strength when occupying a distance. <laughs> the normal one, the normal one will do. He might attack me now. It's not too bad, I have healed. Um, I can't see them be being much up here now. Let's see. Right. Okay. So we'll get the settler out. And then... Yeah. Okay. They're getting quite, quite swamped right now. Of the and I think I'll start bringing the settler, the scout back. Or oh, maybe he can get through. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think we'll need to bring him back. And I will start bringing this guy round so he can escort the settler somewhere. Start taking him up north. And what should we research? What can writing lead into? Currency, sailing, archery. Should we get this archery out. I might be able to get it though. I might be already already able to get it next turn. Oh, this turn. 
Okay, if he can just try it. Oh no! Unlucky, unlucky. We got unlucky there. Um, what am I building in this city? I think I'll start rounding off now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with more Civilization 6 videos, so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in this series. Um, and please be kind. Um, it's my first time playing Civ 6 and recording it. I usually just play and just see what happens and get lucky sometimes. I have already beaten Deity and I didn't expect to. <laughs> it was my second try and I, the first time I've actually gotten past the Renaissance era and actually gone for it. Well, that was good. It was good. Um, I'm hoping to do the same with this. I'm thinking religious victory is probably very likely. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Um... Comment down below. You know what to do. Um, this is your boy Mikey Veli. Signing out.